keep in mind, I did not want to do this. <laughs> if this goes south, this is your fault. <laughs> I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> you ready? No. <laughs> you sure you want to do it? I want it bad, but I'm scared. You want me to do it or no? Yes. Okay. Well, it is chore day in the RV. Uh, a lot of times when we get settled in for, in place for a while, Leslie starts coming up with great ideas. We've been meaning to change this out yeah. anyway for a while. We're changing out the kitchen sink today. There's a couple reasons we're changing out the kitchen yeah. sink today. It just so happens now is the perfect time to do it. Well, first of all, we changed out the sink in the bathroom. Which I love. Which used to be black and now is the brush nickel. We changed all of our handles in the whole RV to the brush nickel. And so really the only thing that we haven't changed out so far is the kitchen sink. It's still black. Yeah. So we're gonna change it out today. So this guy is not very... It starts out strong. Yeah, blast all the way. Yo. And then it dies. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I heard, I've heard that it happens to a lot of guys. <laughs> Come out of the gate strong. <laughs> come out, you come out of the gate strong, and then your stream just kind of <laughs> dies off. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> so that's got to get fixed. The yeah. next thing that's got to get fixed is so one day on travel day, you, we already talked about this, where the plate from the microwave flew yeah. out and smashed into the cabinets down here. Yeah. And I think we've already shown you this before, but it put some gouges down here in the bottom of the the cabinet. Well, we went to the rally in Indiana and they said that they would fix it, but they didn't have any cabinets on hand yeah, at the time. So they said they would ship it to us. So yes. now we have our doors. Yes. So we're going to install the doors today. Yes, we are. Um, the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to change out. And this makes me nervous. I, I know it does. This probably is more nerve wracking than anything else it we're is. doing. So let me show you our towel racks in the bathroom. I'm gonna have Leslie show you what is happening with our towel rack situation. It's the second time it's happened too. And I changed out, cause we're command hook people, cause he's anti holes in walls. So we've had these ever since we bought the rig, but I've had to change the backing twice because in extreme heat, they get loose from the paper and it starts pulling away and I, take it off and I flatten the paper back out. I give it time to adhere again. And then I put the new hook back on. But as soon as you hang a towel back on it, it pulls on that again. Yes. Even though it's supposed to hold the weight just fine. And it pulls that away from the, from the wall. And so this paper, I'm afraid this paper is going to rip at some point. It, maybe. And if that paper rips off, then you'll have just this big hole and you have to figure out a solution for that. Yeah. Mine is doing the same thing over here. Starting to. Yeah. We're going to break down screws and put holes in the wall <laughs> thank you jesus we have never put a hole in in any of our rigs other than when we had the montana slide leak i <laughs> drilled the hole into the bottom yeah. of the slide and i was super nervous about yes, that you are. that's our three projects for the day what are we doing first well this scares you the most so this is last <laughs> the scariest for last <laughs> yeah. isn't it crazy that the scariest thing is just hanging Hang towel the hooks hook. <laughs> But this scares you the most, so we'll do this last. We'll build confidence in yourself. Well, I will tell you one thing that scares me more. The sink we purchased came with this guy. Which you would have to drill a hole in your countertop to install. Yeah. Why are you looking so creepy, man? Because I want this in the counter. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I really would like to have a built-in soap dispenser. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna install the sink, and then I'll take a look. <laughs> Let's take it one step I at mean, a time, people man. People are sitting there going, oh my God, I can't believe you're so stressed out over this, because people are comfortable doing it. You're just not. There's people that are comfortable with drilling the dryer vent out the side of the yeah. wall or RV. Yeah, you're not. Or drilling like <laughs> slide topper things, and drilling, yeah. you know, wee boosts. And yeah. And no, you're mm, anti hole. No, one, I don't want to put off. No, I'm, I'm team no hole. <laughs> Hashtag no hole. <laughs> All right, what are we doing first? Okay, 
First, we'll do the faucet. Cause, okay. Because that's pretty standard. The hole's already there. No, no issues with that. We just got to pull this one out, put the new one in, connect it to hot and cold, put the weight on the little thing so it'll retract, and we're good to go. All done. I read the instructions. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Okay. I guess that's what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get and to it. And if things go well, we might be up at Lowe's getting the adapter to do a hole in the counter. Let's get the sink in. <laughs> this is what we're potentially going to be looking at here. Yeah. Well, the first thing to do is cut off the water. And I love that Alliance has these quick cut off valves right here. So I don't have to go outside and turn off the water. I can cut off the water right here to the cold and right here to the hot. And then I can work up here without having to go outside and turn off the water to the whole RV, which is really cool. No turning back now. She's out. And the reason there's no turning back is because the sprayer thing has a little weighted thing like this that goes in there to weight it down to pull this back up. When you're done using it, the weight pulls it back up. See, there's no weight. It just comes right out. <laughs> But this thing, they like super glued this thing shut. The little thing doesn't allow you to open it up. So in order to uninstall it, I had to cut the line. And so now there's, there's really literally no going back. <laughs> Leslie's like threatening my life if I don't install this. Lies. <laughs> we took the hole from the faucet that we just took out and used it to measure to see if it would be the same hole that would be used for the soap dispenser and it is so this is an inch and a half hole and you see if I put that in there it would just go perfectly so we need the inch and a half bit to drill through there and even with the plywood there's enough threading on here that it would go deep enough to where the the thing would be able to grab the threads and yeah I have to admit, it would look pretty cool, <laughs> but I am nervous about drilling into the thing. So look, let's get the faucet in first and then we'll figure out. Baby steps, right? She's going to make me do it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Blinking. Oh, we're, we're, we're blinking twice because we're in danger. danger. We're in danger. <laughs> Just as I predicted. Hush. Ran into a problem. Hush. It's a residential faucet. The residential faucet only has a female end when it comes out to plug into the water source. Well, RVs need a male end to plug into a female end. The female end is not going to go into a female end. So we're going to have to get an adapter. So female to female don't work. So we got to get an adapter to go in between there. And I guess while we're there, we're going to look at the hole drills to drill a hole in the countertop. Two trips to those. Finally got the right adapter because it was going female to female. wouldn't work and we were struggling. We were struggling hard yeah. in the lows because <laughs> we didn't know that this was the right piece and we were looking at all other kinds of stuff. And it didn't look right because it's got this little guy and but this little piece comes off and so when the little piece comes off then it's exactly the Sorry, it's exactly the piece that you need which is three eighths by one half you don't need this piece no. here the uh, cold and the hot are all hooked up sprayers hooked up doesn't look like anything's dripping let's play a little game I like to call Got to hook up the temperature, right? Yeah. I sure hope so. Yep, that's okay. hot. Okay. Turn it over to cold. Yep, that's cold. <laughs> Do I got a new sink? And Leslie's gonna make me drill a hole. Yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> Can you tell how excited I am? Keep in mind, I did not want to do this. <laughs> if this goes south, this is your fault. <laughs> I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> you ready? No. <laughs> you sure you want to do it? I want it bad, but I'm scared. You want me to do it or no? Yes. Okay.
I'm in a mess. <laughs> She's cut a hole in her countertop. <laughs> oh, sh man. I like it. That's crazy. You're filthy. Oh, boy. <laughs> I can't believe we just did that. If we don't like it, we just we just cover it up like <laughs> <laughs> and it never happened. Oh, she's all installed. Look at that. Look at that. All streamlined and fancy. This is gonna be the first one to wash your hands. Oh. Yeah. How's that working out for you? Good. I don't have to pack away soap dispenser anymore on travel day. That was way scarier. Then it's gonna be a drill into the wall for the <laughs> towel racks for sure. So that should be a breeze. We, yeah, I always say that for last because I thought that was gonna be the scariest thing. And now I'm drilling into countertops. Hey, look at you. And in case you're wondering how thick the countertop is, <laughs> it's that thick. <laughs> Man, that bit just went right through it though. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> that was, uh, Feel oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. After <laughs> you feel all manly. A after, after you've done that. look, after I figured out that it's worked and looks good and it's functional, he's gonna be like, "What else can we put a hole in?" Let's let's drill some holes and stuff. <laughs> We're drilling more holes. You're drill happy now. I hope there's not a stud back there. By the way, we did talk to Alliance and they assured us that there is no wiring in the exterior walls. Most of your wiring is gonna be in the floor of your frame and in the ceiling like we saw in the factory tour. Um, there is no wiring on the exterior wall. So you're not gonna hit any wiring. You could hit a stud, one of the aluminum studs, but you're not gonna hit any wiring. So that's a bonus. Otherwise, I'd be turning off the power to everything in here. Yeah, he would. <laughs> Jeez. Well, it wasn't nearly as scary as I thought it was going to be. And they're up there and they're sturdy and it actually hides that. The bubble. Bubble pretty well once I. Yeah, with the towel on there. Yeah, once I screwed it down, I mean, that's, that's pretty solid. Project number two is in the books. <laughs> two, baby. And now cabinet doors cabinet door. on the island and we'll be done. They wrapped these cabinet doors up. They put them in the box and then they spray foamed around them. Huh, look at that. It's in, it ain't going nowhere. That is in there, man. So uh, we're probably gonna take this outside. Cause it's gonna get messy. And cut around that. We're gonna have to rip the box apart. And, and make sure we don't cut the actual uh, cabinets. cabinets. That defeat the whole purpose. But props to Alliance. Hell yeah. For packing it. There's no way these doors are broken. No, no they're not. <laughs> <laughs> Literally have to peel the box away. Look at this. And then you gotta break the foam away. This is crazy. <laughs> oh my lord. You're doing a great job. <laughs> Keep up the momentum. Uh-huh. Thank you. I really have the hardest job, which is filming. Leslie got all the easy work. Yeah, there it is. This is going to be so much fun to clean, to clean up and get over to the dumpster. Good news and bad news. The good news is the hardware is already on for the hinges, which is good. Yeah. Bad news is their hardware is not on there for the handles. So we're going to have to drill some holes. You and the drill. More drilling. <laughs> Your cabinet door. Yeah. Close them up. See how they work. Oh. Oh. Look at that. No scratches. No scratches or dents. Yes. I joke all the time that our channel should be like how not to, but I'm serious. <laughs> I think we did better than our normal this time. Yeah, I mean, I didn't get mad. I didn't throw anything. You didn't break anything. Didn't break anything. You didn't cuss. Yeah. I call it a win, man. <laughs> and everything got installed. And it actually looks good yeah. and functions properly. <laughs> so, I mean, you can't ask for much more than that. No, <laughs> not with you. I can't. <laughs> Overall, good day.
anyway hope you enjoyed hanging out with us today while we were doing our <laughs> rv chores and getting some things fixed yeah. but um yeah hey the moral of the story is you can do stuff yourself if we can do stuff ourselves, we can do it. Anybody can do it. It's <laughs> true. That is a uh, fifth grader could have done this probably. Yeah. Now we got to tackle the cleanup. Yeah. And, all that foam out there. And then chill. So, yeah. anyway, hope you had a good time. <laughs> Leave us your comments. I can't wait to hear them. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're gonna honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, mm -hmm. everything you need to know is right down there in the description. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.